Hello my friends, today I will review one of my favorite lenses, the Canon EF 50mm f1.4. But first, let's see what's included in the box. The lens comes in a relatively small packaging. Inside, you will find the instruction manual and the warranty card. Unfortunately, a hood is not included in the box. Good job, Canon! Anyway, the build quality is very decent, much better than the Canon f1.8 version 2. The lens costs around 350 euros in Greece. It has an AF-MF clutch which enables auto and manual focus respectively. Canon also offers proper distance markings and manual focus override which makes focusing during video an easy task. The focus ring is rather smooth on the hand and pretty accurate. The 50mm is made in Japan, accepts 58mm filters and weighs only 268 grams. It has a maximum aperture of f1.4 which makes it bokehlesius. When set at f1.4 the out of focus area is pretty smooth and the bokeh balls have a nice round shape. At f2.8 we also get a nicely blurred background but the balls have a polygonal shape due to the 8 aperture blades. This is more evident when we set the aperture at f5.6. I tested the sharpness of the lens mounted on my Canon 600D. At f1.4 the picture is a bit sharp on the center and soft in the corners. At f1.8 things are better but not by much. There is lack of contrast and there is softness in the corners. At f2.8 the image is a lot better with more contrast and overall sharpness. Things get close to optimal when we set the aperture at f4. If however we want to get the sharper results we have to set the camera to f5.6. The image is sharp across the frame with contrasting and vibrant colors. My main concern however is video, so I tested the lens on a Metabons speed booster mounted on my trusty Panasonic GH4. At f1.4 the image is pretty soft especially in the corners. At f2.8 the image looks much better with increased sharpness in the center. We get the optimal image quality at f5.6 where the footage looks crisp and sharp across the frame. When it comes to chromatic aberration, aka color fringing, the Canon suffers especially when set at f1.4. You see the purple lines around the writings on the paper. At f2.8 the problem is almost gone. If you want to get rid of it, set your camera at f4. The reason I bought this lens instead of the cheaper f1.8 is because of its ability to properly perform manual focus. The focus ring is rather smooth and pulling focus is pretty easy. Just take a look at the footage. I know that the Canon f1.4 isn't a proper cinema lens and that's why it suffers from lens breathing, but I can live with that. What I can't live with is the focus by wire that the cheaper version offers. That's all for today my friends. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see similar videos in the future, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Thank you.